In this video, we're going to take a look at tool locators in the Milturn product. We're going to define what tool locators are, and we're also going to take a look at the process for adding those into your own environments, uh, which is now something that you can do yourself as an end user. So in this first video, we're just going to take a look and give you kind of an introduction to what tool locators are, and we're, then we're going to take a look at the process um, that you're going to go through to add those into your own environments. So the first thing we'll do is just take a look at some terminology. We're going to look at what are tool locators, what is a GMD, what is an attachment point, and what is an MCO solid. So taking a look at the first question, what is a tool locator? A tool locator is a component that mounts onto a turret or loads into a B-axis tool spindle to hold your tool. A machine with a turret will always require a compatible locator to hold each type of static or live tool. With a B-axis tool spindle, it only requires a tool locator if the component that mounts into the tool spindle is meant to hold one or more turning tools. For milling tools, they'll just mount directly into the spindle, so no locator would be needed. And for a turning tool, if that tool itself mounts directly into the spindle, then we also don't need a locator. We could utilize something like Mastercam's 3D Tool Builder to, to design a tool and then also the compatible insert that goes with it. Next, we'll kind of look at some examples of tool locators for a turret. So on a turret, we might have locators that hold stick tooling or a boring bar or something to use a live tool on the face of the part or the outside diameter. For a tool spindle, which is a B-axis head style machine, we also have the ability to use a locator that can hold a single tool in a vertical orientation, a 45 degree, or it might hold it horizontally. We also have the option to hold a tool locator that has multiple positions on it. So we can define multiple positions where tools can be located on that single holder. And then the B-axis spindle actually has the ability to index to each of those locations. Next, we'll take a look at what is a GMD. A GMD is a component library that stores our tool locators, the locator attachment points, the chucks, and the jaws for a particular machine. On a turret machine, it will also define the number of turret positions that are available and where the locators mount. The GMD is unique to a particular machine with a particular turret size. So we can actually copy tool locators between two GMDs, but the GMD itself is specific to the turret size on that machine and how many positions it has. New in Mastercam 2020, the chucks and jaws are now stored in the GMD file as well. This provides the ability to create a library of different chucks and jaw sizes that can be swapped out with each new job that you program in Mastercam Milturn. If we take a look how we access the GMD, again, this is something new to Mastercam 2020. If you're familiar with the code expert window that opens up when you're utilizing Milturn, you can see on the left hand there that the component libraries or the GMD files are now accessible by an end user. As you can see, all the other elements are grayed out, which indicates that they're not accessible by an end user. Those, can o those other files can only be modified by a Mastercam reseller or Mastercam directly. On the right hand side, you can see just a short preview of what the GMD looks like when we open it up. A new component manager essentially has been made available to the end user which allows you to modify the different tool locators in your GMD as well as modifying the chucks and jaws that are stored. Next we'll take a look at what an attachment point is. 
An attachment point is a position that's defined in the GMD where the tool locator will attach to the turret or to the tool spindle. For a tool spindle, this will only be a single position as all locators on a B-axis head style machine are going to mount into the center of the tool spindle. For a turret, there could be one or more positions located on the OD or the face of the turret where the tool locators can be mounted. Next we'll look at what an MCO solid is. MCO is an encrypted mesh format similar to an STL file. It stands for Machine Component Object. This file format was developed by Mastercam specifically for machine models. It provides better performance for visualization and also the simulation process. It also protects the intellectual property of the models provided by an OEM or those designed and drawn by an end user. Next we're going to take a look at the process overview for adding tool locators. So you want to add tool locators yourself. Great, you're in luck. New in Mastercam 2020, end users now have access to modify their own GMD files and to add tool locators themselves. Some things that you might want to consider before you start this process. You will need to have some experience moving and orientating solid models in Mastercam. At times, you may need to modify the solid models prior to adding them in as tool locators. This model preparation can be done in Mastercam or really in any CAD system that you have at your disposal and that you're familiar with. The key to the process is planning and organization. Carefully following each step will ensure your success. Next, we're going to take a look at the steps for adding tool locators. The first step is going to be the model preparation. This is where you might download the models from a manufacturer's website and you're going to want to go through each of the models to ensure that they meet the requirements of utilizing them as a tool locator. Once the models have been prepared, we can import them into the GMD and this process will open up the GMD and then we'll import all of those solid models one by one Next, we're going to take those models that we've imported and we're going to organize them onto levels. Now, those levels are going to be individual for each locator that we're adding, as well as we need to represent each orientation that that locator will be used in. So, for an example, if we have a turret style machine and we have a locator that can be used pointing towards the main spindle and the sub spindle, we're going to actually set up two orientations of that solid model to be used in those two orientations. The same would be true if we had a machine with an upper and lower turret. We now need to define that in an orientation for the upper turret as well as the lower turret. The next step is we're going to define each of the tool locators in the GMD file utilizing the solids that we've imported and organized. After that, we're going to save the GMD file, and we're going to save it specifically in a solid format. What this gives us is the ability to go back to that solid version and make any changes that we might need to make. This could be modifying the solids a bit more or moving around some of the attachment points. Once we've saved it in a solid format, we're going to actually convert it to the MCO format. The MCO, if you remember, is kind of like an STL. It basically simplifies the model and makes it so that it's going to run better in the simulation. At the point where we save it as an MCO, we now don't have the ability to select specific features on the part. So that's the other reason that we always keep a solid version of the GMD as well. As a part of the MCO, conversion, we're also going to save that in both inch and metric versions. As you may note, there are two versions of the GMD in every machine environment, and depending on whether you're working in inch or metric, it's going to utilize one or the other. 
the last step is we're going to take those modified GMD files and we're going to save them back into our machine environment. This way, every time we pull up that machine, we're going to get all those tools that we've added in as available options. This concludes the first video in this series. Next, we're going to start taking a look at the individual steps in the process for adding tool locators so you can get started doing this yourself.